Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Mini Metro. I know it's been a long time. I've had quite the busy spring and summer, and now we're almost into fall here. What's today? September the 5th uh, of 2022. So I apologize for the long break. Hopefully getting back into it as my life settles down. I'm going to go ahead and start here in Chicago. We've done Paris. We've done New York. And what was the first one? In London. Chicago's kind of my hometown, so it's nice to be building the famous L line uh, for the city by the lake. Uh, so let's go ahead and get going here, and I'll kind of talk you through what my life has been for the last couple months. Uh, so a lot of things happened between starting a new job, moving, and a couple other things. But it's uh, kept me busy, and now we're back to making some YouTube videos, so I appreciate you guys coming out and spending some time with me today here in Mini Metro. If you've never played it before, it's uh, quite a fun game. It's very simplistic to learn, but very hard to master, and I guess that's a lot of video games nowadays. So we have different stations here. We have a circle, a triangle, and a square, and your goal, objective, whatever you want to call it, is to move people, so move this triangle, square, and that other triangle to their uh, respective stations. Now, as we progress through the level, things will speed up, things will get harder, and more and more passengers will show up. So we're actually going to do that like that. And uh, yeah, you just want to move as many people around before one of your stations becomes too full, and you'll see some flashing circles around it. And when it's too full, you lose the game. And we're going to extend our orange line there. Uh, now, every week you do get to get either a new train, a new line, a larger station, uh, bridges, things like that, so they, they make it a little easier for you. Uh, how do we want to do this? I guess let's do the red line there. So down here, this is your lines, your color lines, so we're going to take the locomotive, and then do we want bridges or line? We got one bridge and one line left. Let's go ahead and grab two bridges there. Uh, so now, if we wanted to take one of our locomotives, since our red line's getting a little longer, we'll go ahead and put that train there. And what I think I'm gonna do is we're gonna back the red line up and we're gonna take our other line like this into there, boom, because I'd like to keep the red line going north here. This orange line will kind of peel south and it'll also head west. The yellow line can head that way as well, or excuse me, west as well. Let's have the yellow line sneak out there. So you can see that one was starting to chirp to let us know that there was people waiting at it. We'll take the orange line there. Um, there's a lot of squares there. Hopefully this, yep, that red line train is going to pick up a lot of those squares and bring those there and drop those off. So we've moved uh, about 80 people here. Um, all right, and then we'll have orange line come out here and get that square. So now the orange line can take people uh, from any station to, to anything. So like originally every square had to go to this triangle first, but now the orange line doesn't have to do that. And we're going to have it grab that diamond, so now it'll finish that loop. There we go. Um, we will take the other locomotive and we'll take the line. Our orange, orange line's getting a little long, so let's go ahead and put another train on that. Red line's gonna come up here and grab that triangle. Now, you can see some people are building up here, so this is a very popular station. You try to avoid having a lot of the same um, shapes in a row. So, uh, and we're gonna have to do it here. We're gonna have three circles in a row. Really, you'd wanna do like triangle, square, circle, triangle, square, circle, keep alternating like that, just so you're not always having trains having to travel past multiple stations to do what they need to do. Um, okay, so I think what we're gonna do next time is probably take the green line and like go here to here to here, um, ooh, and there, and that'll kinda of help alleviate some of the, the stress along there. 179 people moved so far. I know you keep flashing like that. Um, hopefully our time speeds up here and I can do that with the green line. It's going to start chirping at me. I know you're busy. You're full. All right, come on. Let's get the week done. 200 people. Yep, they're both chirping at us, but they haven't started to get full yet. So that's, that's good. All right, Sunday's almost over with. Great. We'll take the locomotive and an extra carriage. So let's go ahead and pause here. We're going to take our green line. We're going to start here, go to this circle, and I think maybe here. And then let's hit this triangle and then have it come into there. And so we got the train on there. Now let's see. The yellow, hmm, where do we want to put our extra carriage? Um, maybe we put it on the green line or do we want to put it on the yellow line? I think we're going to put it on the yellow line train. So it's a short line. 
but it now can carry a lot of people on that one train. And um, yellow line, you can swing out and get that triangle. Red line can get that circle up there. Do I want to move? Mm, I think what I'm going to do is bring the yellow line to here and then down here. So now it alternates a little bit more. So we got circle, triangle, two circles in a row, not ideal, triangle, circle, triangle. This station is really getting full with squares. So hopefully he picks up some of those squares there. Perfect. Um, yeah. All right. So then they're going to dump probably a lot of squares here. Um, who do we want to go get that? I guess the green line can go get that. That's going to make the green line kind of long, but the orange line is already pretty long too. Um, okay, now there's a square there. Let's do uh, locomotive interchange. So we're going to have our interchange be probably here because this is kind of where a lot of lines come together. And we're going to drag the red line to there so the red line passes through that station. Um, and then, man, we're going to have to make this red line kind of long. I don't necessarily like the design I have, but it's going to have to work here. Do that, do that, and then let's just put another train on the green line since it's getting kind of long as well. I wonder, do we take the green line all the way into that central station? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, mm, we'll do that there. This is looking like a big old pile of spaghetti, but that's okay. We're doing good so far. 400 people moved, 402 people. Haven't had any major issues, knock on wood. That's okay. So in the comments, let me know how you guys are doing since it's been six, seven, eight months since I made a video. Uh, tell me about your lives. My life, like I said, has been pretty hectic. Did you have a good summer? Did you do anything fun? Get out and see the world. I uh, didn't get to go see the world as I thought I was going to, but that's okay. I got a lot of plans for next year. I think my brother and I are gonna head down to Patagonia uh, and spend two weeks down there. And then I think I'm going to try and climb Mount Rainier in the fall of 23. So a lot of things hopefully happening next year. That's okay. Uh, sometimes you got to be patient and wait. We're bringing the orange line down there. I think I'm going to unhook the orange line from this circle. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then, man, we're going to have to bring the green line out, out to that circle. Or let's see, can we get a line? Yeah, let's do... Let's do another line here. Maybe we'll kind of have something that goes east to west. To here, to here, to here, the triangle. And then let's go up to this, all the way up there. I know it's a long line, but it, it kind of allows things to traverse east to west a little bit more. Um, it does hit a lot of stations that are on routes, but then they can drop people off. So like they dropped off a you know, if they need to drop off a, a Pentagon, they can drop it off somewhere along here, and then our blue line train can pick it up and take it there instead of having to go from here to the red line to the red line up. Hopefully that alleviates some of the congestion that way. 625, 630 people moved. We're doing great. Liking it. We got it on the fast speed. This station's starting to gather some. Okay, good. We got a triangle out here. We'll hook that into the green line. So now it's triangle, two circles, triangle, circle, circle, triangle. So a little bit easier uh, for those trains to move people around. This station's getting a little more full too. Did he pick up some squares? He did. All right, so orange line will grab that. Circle there, great. Our interchange is doing well. Let's see, blue line's moving someone there. Um, Do we want blue line to get that circle? Actually, maybe we'll have both of them get it. There we go. All right. Week seven. Locomotive. And let's do a carriage. And I'm going to do a carriage on... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where do I want to put the carriage? I don't know. Um, actually, I'm going to unhook this from the blue line and then hook this circle up there. And then I think we're going to do train and carriage on the blue line. Just because it kind of hits a lot of things along the way. Hopefully that'll help move some people around. All right, he's picking up a lot of people there. Good. Glad we put that carriage there. He picked up some of those squares. And that changed to a plus sign. So now the, only the blue line can move plus signs. Do we want to hook the red line into that? No, I think we leave it the way it is. 
uh, and there's a square there now. Um, bu -bu -bum -bum. Orange line's already pretty long. I guess we move the red line over and have the red line pick up that square. That sucks that our squares are all kind of concentrated down here. Ooh, and there's a circle there too. Do, 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 what do we do? Okay, let's have it come in between these two. That seems to be spawning a lot of triangles and then it can just move them like that. This triangle is getting really full and so is this guy. Hopefully we pick some people up, locomotive, and let's take the interchange. So if we need to make this an interchange or maybe this one an interchange, we can. Now we got a football and a triangle down here. Uh, yellow line's kind of short, so let's go ahead and have yellow line get the football, the triangle, and then we're gonna have it swing up and also get that square. And let's go ahead and put another locomotive on the yellow line since it's starting to get on the longer side. That'll help with some congestion. All right, and we got a circle there. Uh, I guess blue line can get that. 1,075 people moved. What are we, like week eight or week nine? We're doing okay. We're doing okay. I know in the comments uh, that have been popping up, and I really appreciate that we've still been growing even though I haven't made a lot of videos. Uh, Terraria was a game suggested, so I think I'm gonna look into that. I've had it, I played it a little bit, and by a little bit I mean for, you know, an hour or two. Didn't get too much into it, uh, mostly because I wasn't sure what I was doing. So I think uh, maybe we'll start that. We still got Craft the World going. I actually opened up Craft the World and intended to make a video on that, uh, but I, it wasn't in a, a good spot to, to put a lot of energy and thought into the, to the game today. So I just wanted to pick something nice and simple like Mini Metro. We got a lot of stations chirping here. All right, we'll go locomotive and carriage. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and put the carriage on all right, so we're gonna do interchange here, and then we're gonna do a train and a carriage going into that station and see if we can move some people. All right, that helped, but we got this circle up here. I guess the orange line's gonna have to go handle that. Um, well, this might be the end of the road. Orange line can also get this triangle now. And we're gonna lose right here unless that, nope, that blue train, green train, you gonna get anyone? Nope, that's gonna be it, boys and girls. 1,376 passengers move. That's that's pretty good for a, a first video back. Uh, I appreciate that. 1,376. That's okay. We we uh, did okay in Chicago. I don't think I failed my somewhat of a hometown. Appreciate you guys coming out and enjoying another Tooth and Scrubs gaming video here in Mini Metro. Don't forget to like the video. Comment on down below on anything. As always, I am very open to feedback, commentary, gameplay. Let me know how I can make these videos better for you. Always open to suggestions. Like I said, Terraria is on my radar and I uh, want to continue Craft the World. And there's a couple other games that we might get back to here as I get into the swing of things. No guarantee that I will have any regular schedule. I know for, for about a year I was doing pretty good, at least one, maybe two videos a week. Uh, still, life is still settling down a little bit. So hopefully, maybe around the holidays and the new year, uh, get you know start a new uh, um, oh what's the word I'm looking for a new um, oh you always do them at the new year anyways start a new resolution New Year's resolution there we go uh, to make some more videos for you guys because we we grew and I'm I'm happy where we're at we're at 210 as of this recording and I'd like to get to a thousand um, I think we're 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 in a good spot to to climb to that number anyways thank you so much for coming out and watching Tooth and Scrubs Gaming and we'll see you in the next video.